let's go ahead and we'll move right into a warm up. And I just want you to reach a big arm up and over, bend into the hips, and really just go all the way down the side of the body. You can take the legs wider if that feels better. Big reach here, nothing fast, but I do want big, deep movement. Good, so really drive the hip out. We'll get one more on each side. See how far you can bend to the side there. And a little deeper each time. Good. All right, now we're going to rotate, taking the chest one side all the way to the other. Two and one. All right, from here, arms nice enough. We're going to cross them over the top, then open back up and try and alternate which arm is on top. And as you pull back, really open the chest, reach those shoulder blades in towards your back. Good, give me one more. Hold those arms out front here. We're gonna start our swimmers one arm at a time back. Glad you guys showed up. You're doing great. We're our <laughs> friends. Good. Let's go forward. And this one, I want you to kind of bring that elbow back and swim it forward. Beautiful. Okay. Give me one more each way. All right. Let's go into our squat series. So from here, hips are about shoulder width apart. You sit back in that imaginary chair. Feel the weight, press into your heels, and then push firmly into the ground, stand back up tall. Good. Let's get four more. Four, three, two, very good. One, kick those heels up for me now. Good, you can add the arms or you can stay right here. Try and flex the foot a little, get a little deeper into the quads or stretch. Two, one, good. All right, arms out wide. We're reaching across the body, so send those hips back, shoot them back into the wall, reach across. It is okay if you cannot touch the toes. You can come right here to the knees even, but what I need is a nice, long, neutral spine. So hips press back, hinge forward so that your chest kind of hovers right over the floor. Keep it all nice and straight, core tight. Good. Let's get one more each way. All right, with the legs nice and wide, we take it side to side. Good. On this next one, I want to the green wall. Hold here. We're going to turn it into our runner's lunge. From here, drop that back knee and press back out. Okay. So we're still leaning forward slightly. You can put your hands on the leg for support. Okay. That was it. Now let's turn all the way to the other side. First, long leg back. Shoot that energy out the heel. Drop the knee. Fire it back. Okay, give me one more. Awesome. All right, come back to your stand. Last thing we're going to do, I want you to bring those knees up into the march. If you can, keep the hands elevated and behind the head. All right, we're just going to start here. I want you to really open the chest, press those elbows out. Now, here's your last little bonus is to rotate like elbow towards opposite knee. Now, we're not pulling on the neck, forcing it to touch. Keep the chest up. It's okay if your elbow doesn't. Touch your knee. Good. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Okay, we are starting with lower body. So five moves. We'll repeat them all three times. Kind of bada boom, bada bang. 30 seconds on, 10 second rest. So it's going to go pretty quickly. All right, that first move, we're going to go right into our squat. You can hold the weights at your shoulders, at your side, at your hips, one weight on your chest, however you want to do it. But we're just going to start narrow. We come out, squat, come center, other way. All right. You can go no weights, 
Williams, you are just moving laterally for that first 30 seconds. All right. Here we go. I like to keep them at my shoulders. And I'll show you lots of ways. So if you have one weight, you can hold it, or even both, kind of at your chest for that. Some people will kind of want to rest them at the legs. The one thing I ask is that if you put them down in the center, you don't let them round your back and pull you forward. Okay, so you got to keep those shoulders down and back, chest lifted. If you keep the weights there, five seconds. Okay. All right, this next move, we're going single leg. So we're going to take your right leg, lunge forward, center, back. So it's a traveling squat or traveling lunge. Stay on the same side, center, back. Stay on that side the whole time. So your left leg is planted firmly onto the ground. It's your stabilizer and it's not moving as far as coming off the ground. there. Awesome job. We're going to do same thing on the other side. So this time right leg or left leg forward, center, back. All right. Best way to modify this is to start by just getting rid of the weight or lessening them. But if you don't quite have a huge range of motion or if you have knee pain, you're just not going to sink very deep into it. So it might just be right here for you. Almost like you're just taking a step lean into it. If you can though, I want you to drop that back knee under the hip and see how low you can get that knee. Really move into it. Good. Here we go. All right. Start with one weight on this next one. This will be good. We're adding a little bit of balance. So this is the first round. Of Legs wide, toes slightly pointed out. We're going to push the knees out, sink down, come up, stand on your toes. Right, so you'll find about the, the width you need to have your feet here. So we're moving into that calf raise. Good. I tuck the hips under like you're sliding down a wall. So most of our squats, we go hips back. But this one, we're keeping knees out wide and tucking the tailbone under so that we hit the inner thighs here. Good, last move. We're going curtsy. So you're going to sweep one leg behind, pulse for two at the bottom, come up, plant your foot, and go the other way. So it's down, two, and then over. So just like that reverse lunge, but you're going to sweep that leg a little further behind instead of straight back. Knee and toe stay forward on your stabilizing leg. Chest out. Good. Got eight seconds. Maybe a little longer rest. You can do it all again. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Step down the legs. Grab a drink if you need to. If your legs feel tight, take a second to stretch. That was round one. We're going to do those five moves all over again. So starting with the squat, side, center, side. All right, you got five seconds. This is gonna move quickly today. We're flying through it. You got 30 seconds here. Time stays the same for all three rounds. Good. 10 to go. You guys look great. Good. All right, this time we go right into those traveling lunges. I want to add a challenge for you. If the first round felt easy, first of all, you can always add weight. Secondly, you can go for the balance. So instead of setting it down in the center, you can hold. All right, join in with me. So you can try and add that balance on one leg, or you can still keep tapping center. Five seconds left on this side. All right, 
that's anything on the other side. So if you went for that balance challenge on your right, I want you to try and go for it on your left. And it's okay if one side is better than the other. Hold and back. Well, almost to round two. Okay, we've got those nice wide spots. So this time, if you want to add that second wing, feel free to some. I just want you to feel the balance going on there. So we sink low, come up on the toes. Another option, some people will like, I still like to put it kind of on the legs. We call that like resting in the pocket. Really up to you. Good. Okay, we're going to press those knees out wide. All done. Beautiful. Last move, we've got curtsies. So we're going to add that pulse to so take two at the bottom and then alternate sides. Here we go. Two breaths. Down. Across. Make sure you guys got this knee and toe forward on the stabilizing leg. Shoulders stay forward too. So we're not turning, we're rotating or twisting. Only that back leg sinks so behind. 10 seconds, almost there. Good job. All right, let them down. Two down, one to go. Same exact thing. Stretch them out. Try to give them that pat if they need. One more time. And then, so this is where your legs, you, should, you want them to feel fatigued, okay, at this point. So you're doing five different exercises, pretty much back to back, three rounds through. If you're not, again, next week, try to up your weights. So we're about to check them off. Last set. Best set, everything you got left in the tank, and then we'll move on to upper body, all right? Starting with the squats, going side to side, weights up, deep breath, here we go. Good, watch your posture. If you're already down to 10 seconds, can you sink a little lower in that squat? Can you step a little wider? It's always to finish strong. Very good. Traveling lunges coming at you, starting with the right leg, moving forward and back. Three, two, one. Good. Don't be afraid to take kind of that big step forward to make sure that you're not compromised. So if you think it's so small, we're actually putting more pressure on that knee than if we have to step forward a little more. Good, 10 to go. Lost it. Good, check them out. Other side. Three, two, moving right into it. Good, as we start to fatigue, I just wanted you to check. Make sure that the majority of your weight is in the leg, your front leg, and in the heel. So right here, so the left heel, now it moves into my right heel. And we power through, pressing firmly into the floor, pushing back up, good. Five seconds. Good. Two more. So taking those legs nice and wide. You want to hit the inner thighs here. We're going to roll around it all the way around. Good. Down. All the way up into the calves. So you can separate this and come up and then calf raise, or you can try and like fluidly move through it as one move. Good. 
and 10 seconds. Yes, you're doing great. Core tight, hips tucked under, knees wide, right here's the end. Very good. All right, curtsies, and then we'll check off the legs and call it a day on that one. Here we go. Back, pulls, and up. Really try to drop that back knee if possible. Good, three, two, finish it out, good job. All right, we get a full minute here. I'm gonna turn on fans for us. Right. So for upper body, this is going to work just slightly differently. Three out of five of our moves, still same thing five moves, but three of them are going to be standing. Two of them will come onto the mat floor. So we'll do those separately. We'll just go through the first three at the beginning. All right. So first move, weights are on our side, elbows tucked in, palms forward. We have a bicep curl, bring those weights to the shoulders. Elbows to your side, and we're going to flip so that our palms face each other, face the body, and go front raise. Okay, so from the side, it's a curl, and then we raise up shoulder height. All right, if you feel yourself start to rock, go ahead and start with me. Curl, front raise on that front raise. If you feel yourself, but when I say start to rock, I mean like you're leaning back, just bring those legs forward. I want you to give yourself a kickstand here. Take a split stance, tighten your core, really squeeze the belly, and keep the shoulders down and the elbows in line with the shoulders. We're going to try not to rock on this one. Okay. All right, move number two. All right, you got 10 seconds. You take your rest. Weight to the shoulders. We're going to narrow press up, weights together, tricep extension, elbows forward, and back down. So we go up, back, up. Yeah, good. So same thing, if you feel yourself rocking, you can take this serenade stance. I just have like a wide base of support. It's up to you. Almost there. Don't let the elbows fly out wide here, okay? Keep them in. Good. Now this is where I want you to use those light weights, maybe even body weight if you're familiar. If you're not familiar with it, this is going to get into the rotator cuff. We're going to hold right here, 90 degree angle for the whole move. We lift up, go with me, rotate, elbows together, and then retrace back down. So here, tuck those elbows in. So elbows, hands, elbows, good. Then we bring it down. Rotate down, tuck it back. Good. Lift, raise, squeeze. Very good. You come to the center right there. I want you to think about squeezing the elbows together. All right, those are our three moves. All right, we're going right back to that bicep curl. No less than the three moves. Here we go. Curl, take it into a front raise, hammer style. Good. Now, if that front raise becomes too much, especially if you're at home and don't have a lot of weight options, remember that you can always cut it in half. So I can do curl and then just take the right arm and then I can curl. Take the left arm. That's going to way to cut it in half. We only have some heavy weights here. Five seconds. Okay, okay, shake it out real fast. Ten seconds. We press right into our tricep extension. Drop those weights in your shoulders. Deep breath. Press up. Head. Extend. Everybody, I 
All right, so we're gonna last move upper body here. We're kind of the same way, but it's one arm at a time. So we're gonna flip over onto all fours. So facing the mat, I'm gonna go this way for you. One way, we'll start it in your right hand. Okay, you can bring that left arm if, you, if it feels better. You can bring it just slightly in, so you kind of have that almost tripod uh, base of support. But you're going to lift up into a row, kick back and back down. Flip from the side. Elbow stays, elbow stays close to the body the whole time here. Lift up, kick back, and extend, and and down. Now, some of you have been doing this with me for a long time. If you feel like you want that added challenge. I'm going to have you lift the opposite leg, so opposite of the arm that has the weight, to where you would keep it elevated right here on this side, and you would row, kick back, and, and down. We're going to stay on that same side, and that's just adding in some glutes and core work to stabilize you a little bit more, but that is extra. I want you to focus on the upper body, okay? So if you're going for one thing, make it the row, and try some kick back. Here we go. So if you have that leg elevated, Row, kick back, and down. Or you can even drop that toe down if you want to just kind of try it out a little, but you feel unstable. Right down, right under the hips. Five seconds. I want you to check your posture. Neck is in line with the spine, back is nice and flat. Okay, we're going to do that on the other side. Okay, it's the same thing. If you're elevating that leg, get the opposite leg up. I want you to pull your belly button in towards your spine. So we're pulling it deep in with the core. Back flat. Glutes, knees, we're firing up the glutes right here. So keep that leg elevated. Got five seconds. You guys look good. Go strong. Well done. Good. Okay, for this last one, bring that other weight in. Ditch the leg. We're going to alternate growing right, left. Now, here, if you want to challenge here, get up on those toes into plank, right, left. All right, for the third round, we alternate, whether it's from the knees, you can even get that modified plank. Okay. Think about bringing that weight kind of right towards the armpit. It feels a little silly. Lift that elbow back and up. Right here. I'm going to try to use our stair. Out with the core. Deep breath here. Take a second. You can stretch those arms. Grab a tree. How are we feeling? Check them off one by one. Five, none of our four steps have been playing today, surprisingly. Um, but there is some either on our back or leaning back. So, like when you think of brushing this tip. I'm not sure how you feel right now, but especially as you, this is where you want to put one of those grocery balls behind you just to help lower back support so that you're not straining like you're going to hurt your leg. Okay. All right, so coming on to our mat, we actually do not need weights at this point. You kind of swing them out of the way and up at the top of your mat. Like where your head might be the best place because we're going to have our legs moving around a bit. All right, so I want you to lay back and just put the knees right over the hips here. This is where we're starting, okay? Hands at your side for support, and I want you to flex the feet, tap one heel, then the other. So it seems like we're starting really small, but what we're doing is uh, just kind of stabilizing and getting the deeper inner core, and then working here, even down into all the hip support, uh, pelvic floor. So I really want you to focus on your breath. Inhale as the heel comes down. Exhale as you pull back to. Now in round two, if you want a little more challenge, you're going to do both legs at the same time. All right. So from here, arms come out wide. Get those knees right back over the hips. And this is where 
take windshield wipers. So we'll take them side and then pull back centers and exhale. Inhale, drop to the other side. And that's quick for that. Now, what I don't want is for your legs to come all the way down into the floor where you're kind of like this and then just like flopping side to side because that actually gives you a rest. So I want you to just go down hover.
take this even where this is where we're gonna roll up if you can or come on to your side. Stay in this, I'm gonna stay facing this way this time. Still down as we go side to side. Getting that rotation before. Just a little more for that elbow can almost come behind your back. And if that's too much, just then kind of right to the side. Minimizing your twist a little. Three seconds. Good. Okay, last one here. And by your side, you can either, like I said, either the right leg last time and switch to the left. If you did both legs, we'll go for it again. Some people. I mean, if you are really wanting to challenge, you can elevate those arms to this. I don't want you to put extra strain on those lower back. Sometimes this just helps us kind of remind us to lean back. Let's just remind you to take that one leg at a time. Got one more time through. That's the third and final round of four. All right, we're coming down. Knees up. I know that one was rest. Half the heel, you can take one at a time or both. Connect to the breath. Inhale down, exhale up. Push with that report to the floor. And it's not just sucking in, like you're just the tightening. Good. Arms out wide. Knees over the hips, side to side. You're almost there, I promise. You guys are doing great. Shaping out your sitting those legs at least from two behind the head. For three, you lift up, and start bicycling your legs. Good. So let in and out and out. Try not to look down at your belly button because then we're kind of cutting off our airway. If you've got your chin on your chest, you are not getting a great amount of oxygen. So let your head just kind of fall back in your hands, lift the chest. Not the head. Okay. Let the head come down. Good job. All right. Coming up. Last two minutes right here. We're so close to the end. You can take an extra time here if you need to stretch it out. We're going to keep rolling here. Join us when you're ready. Side to side. Thirty seconds more of work, and then we stretch. There's no burnout. There's no bonus surprise here. Okay. That's why I always keep my back cast. I'm like, one more thing. I'm like, oh, we only got this. I'm not lying to you. We are almost there. We've got twenty seconds to go. Remember, you can take it to the right, left, right, left, one at a time. Keep that other leg down for support. Whatever you do, we're gonna finish strong here. So all I ask is just go quick. You've got eight seconds. Two, one, and five. Very good. Okay. Woo, well done. We're going to give our bellies a nice big stretch here. So just lie back, reach up overhead, take this feet as far to the opposite wall as you can. I want you to try and grow an inch or two. I wish it was that easy, but we can try. 
Now, because you're already halfway rolled over, I want you just to take that left arm, bring it over. We're going to go towards our stomach here, and I want you just to place the elbows right under the shoulder. This is kind of our sitting pose. And lift the chest, lift the chin. Just going to get an extra stretch in the core after all that work you did. All right, from here, press the hands in that knee pose, head back to your heel, shadow pose. Forehead towards the mat, but engage your hands forward. And we're going to throw the needle. So, right arm is going to go under the left, press that shoulder towards the mat. Okay, bring it back to the top. Left arm comes through.